Hi, welcome to this week where today we're talking about one of our online courses, specifically our W1 course. Now W1 is used to be known as our Brandy Mampur course, but now because we're getting more international students attending our training, we refer to it as our fruit-based spirits course. Because Brandy, although known is sometimes misunderstood and Mampur is a truly South African wording for a fruit-based spirits, an unaged fruit-based spirits. Internationally we have Slivovich, we have Rakia, we have got um, Palinka, Paleni and so on and so forth. There's many many different categories of spirits made from a fruit base where fruit is your raw material in order to turn that into fermentation and distill it. So that is what our W1 fruit based spirits course covers. All the skill sets that you need in order to make spirits from fruit. Now, our W1 course has our C1 course as a prerequisite. Our C1 course, Introduction to Distilling, is where we cover all the basics that you need to know in order to be a distiller. It's a very short course, about 11 hours or so. Uh, but it covers a lot of information, a lot of basic information about safety during distillation, legal home distilling in South Africa. Um, fermentation theory, distillation theory, and finally spirit enhancement theory. That forms the basis of all our other courses. We then build on that basic knowledge in our other courses, in our one day courses, specifically our W1 course. We build on that knowledge as it applies to fruit. So working with fruit, we've got certain unique challenges. We're dealing with pectin, for instance, something that creates a lot of methanol, gives rigidity to fruit, can cause problems during processing and so forth. We use enzymes to break that pectin down with these specific pH requirements. We look at the yeast that we use to bring out the best flavors out of the fruit and so on and so forth. There's also certain master principles that we handle in all our W1 courses, but master principles unique to that raw material or to that technique. Now the master principle when it comes to fruit based spirits is called fractional distillation where we do not distill just heads, hearts and tails but we actually go into the tails and we go looking in the tails, we go looking for the flavors, aromas, fusel oils, acids, esters and so forth which enhances the flavor and aroma composition of our final product but also gives us the mouthfeel and lingering aftertaste that is so highly prized in high quality spirits. Now, most distillers, sorry, not most distillers, but many commercial brands, big brands, when they try to achieve mouthfeel and lingering aftertaste, they do not do this through proper distillation. They do it through additives, things like glycerine, sugar, and so forth, which they add in thickening agents, for instance, to artificially create mouthfeel and lingering aftertaste. But by applying fractional distillation, the home, hobby, or craft distiller can achieve that naturally, the way it's supposed to be done. Naturally gaining that flavor, aroma, taste and then the mouthfeel and lingering aftertaste. So that's one of the master principles we cover in our W1 course. Now we talk about it in W1s because it's very applicable to fruit based spirits but the technique is not unique to fruit based spirits. So you might be a rum distiller, you might be a whiskey distiller, you might just want to distill everything under the sun. This is a skill set that will benefit you as well. So do not Ignore the W1 course just because you are not interested in fruit. There are skills taught in that course that will benefit any distiller. That is the whole principle behind our training. That the more courses you do, the better all-round distiller you become because the more of these master principles you master. Now, obviously if you want to do work with fruit, this is the course for you. If you're a traditional South African Mampur distiller, unaged fruit spirits, Witblitz distiller, unaged grape spirit, or brandy, this is the course for you. This is the course that will teach you everything you know, uh, need to know in order to make those products, in order to work with fruit. Also very beneficial to people that just want to make fruit fermentations, but we also have a W12 fruit a wine course. There is benefits to doing that course as well in addition to the W1 course. If you're very uh, uh, eager to get your fermentations better, to learn more about making good fruit-based uh, fruit fermentations, you would benefit.